Hello, I'm back. How's the building work coming along? Nice and smoothly, I hope. Which is more than I can say for me signature pub grub. I just can't figure out what I'm doing wrong. I want to try as many different ingredients as possible so I can come up with the perfect crumbled on dish. But then bonfires ain't up to the job. If I had a frying pan, I could cook stuff together and maybe make a breakthrough. Could you make me one, Avak? Once you've made it, just whack it on top of one of them bonfires in the mushroom cook room. Then I can start working on my recipe. Sure. Cast iron skillet, suitable for the discerning chef. Use with the bonfire to cook food. Okay, I've got another quest incoming. <laughs> Always good to see your smiling face, Avak. That grin of yours never seems to fade. So perhaps you're the perfect person to help me out with something. I want everyone around here to smile a bit more, no matter how hard life in the mining town can be. If we had a card table near the pool, it might be a nice little morale booster. Those fellas love their games, especially when they're playing for stakes. It's already sketched out on the blueprint, right? Just put a couple of stone stools around a stone table, stick a pack of playing cards on top, and Bob's your uncle. Things can get pretty heated when the lads play cards, so you better reinforce the floor with some heavy juicy iron blocks so it can withstand a sore loser's stops. Ah, uh, okay. I will be right back. Will do. I will try putting the pan on the bonfire, I promise. Right, let's see. Uh, frying pan. Where would that be? There we are. Yes. Please make one. Also, need four of these. I need at least one stone table. I know I do, but I'll take two. Uh, anything else I need? I mean, yeah, actually, quite quite a lot. That'll give me all the iron we need for everything. Now the pack of playing cards as well. There we go. And finally, while I'm at it, let's go ahead and make a bunch of copper. I don't back up. Right. Where do we put the playing cards? Just down here, it looks like. Iron blocks wise. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. I do need to put these back on my pad though. There we go. I find it so much easier to place blocks like this without having to worry about misplacing them if you just hop on top. No. No. Naughty. Naughty. Bad. Ah, I'm attacking the wall. Why am I attacking the wall? Thank you. You're a naughty, naughty ghost. This is going to appear. Over there. There we go. 241 EXP, though. Not bad. Uh, right, we need two more lines. There we are. Perfect. Right, where do we want the stone table? Uh, bang smack in the middle of the third row down. Dunk. And then I believe these need to go on either side. And then the cards on top. There we go. Card table complete. The improvements of the bar make the miners more motivated. Now they'll mine more. Excellent. Uh, we could go ahead and place down more of the iron blocks, realistically speaking. Uh, right in the centre there. There we are. And then I believe we just need to mirror this side then. Oh, damn it. Thank you very much for the appreciation. I really appreciate it, but um. There we go. There we are. Hello. 
Nice, Avak. When the miners see it, I'm sure they'll be grinning from ear to ear. Not that you can ever see their faces to find out. This is one way of telling whether they're enjoying themselves, though. The more the townsfolk like what you've done with the building, the more gratitude they'll give you. Everyone needs to smile after a stressful day. Just look at Babs and how hard she works. I don't know how she does it. Not only has she got her dad and his pub to worry about, she's put that rabbit suit to, uh, on that rabbit suit to keep the miners contented. And to top it off, she fights the monsters as well. But don't get your wires crossed. It's not like I l like her. I just really, really like her. Babs is my angel, my light in the darkness. So if you're thinking of having her all to yourself, you can get right out of it. <sighs> really? Really? All right, let's, uh, donk. Fiery frying pan. Oh, oh, look at that. You put the frying pan on top of the bonfire, just like I asked. Now I can cook two ingredients together. Oh, wow. Now then, Abba, this recipe I've been just trying to give a will. Uh, dying to give a will. Mind helping me find the ingredients? We'll need some mushrooms and some succulent slabs of meat. Them, uh, bunny corns you see hopping about in the desert look like they got some tasty chunks on them. Or cuts on them. Actually, the recipe is so simple, you could even whip it up for me. Just put a mushroom and some meat in the frying pan and give it a sizzle. That's all there is to it. Okay. Well. Well. Really, everyone's rushing over. Okay, well, I mean, I'll accept. Um, since you're all here, honestly, I'm getting lazy. Wapow! Thank you. Oh. I need to get back up. Right, okay. So. One. Let's take out all of the food items we've got. Two. And cook. I wonder how many different recipes there are. Let's find out. Uh, let's drop these off first, though. And yes, I need to give people their, um, weapons. I know, I know. Alright, so I'll take all of these out. Since it's possible, I could use anything. Uh, you know what I could do as well? Is I could just go and get myself another, um, hey, Babs. There you go. I could go and get myself another frying pan. Uh, who here has... A slot for weapons. You do. Anyone has a weapon, please show yourself. I wish to give you better ones. Yeah. Is there anyone else who needs a weapon? Yes, one more. Nope. Nope. There we are. There you go, Burly Blighter. All yours. While I'm here, Digby, my luck. If I ask you a serious question, will you give me an honest answer? Does Bab look unhappy to you? Like she's put, uh, put out a bad something? You what? You reckon this place must be paradise for an intelligent girl like her? Being chased around by a load of hard fighting, hard, hard farting meatheads? Uh, <clears throat> Wait, you ain't being sarcastic, are you? I never can tell, you're winding me up. Uh, I mean... Anyway, she looks upset to me. Must be all the sand around here. Stuff gets everywhere. That's where you come in. I need to put together a shower room so Babs can tell uh, tell all that scratchy sand to absolutely do one. If Babs is going to shower in style, uh, the walls have got to be made of silver blocks. As for the location, somewhere by the silver bar might be a good spot. Then you just got to uh, fit in with a shower, a folding screen, and a towel rail. Plop them all inside, and you're done. Well... Tale of the Unseen, thank you very much for the Prime sub, mate. A nozzle that shoots out a stream of water when someone approaches. Okay. Let's go and have a look. I've made my first surf and turf. Amazing. I would like to put this in there and this. No idea what I'm cooking, but it's going to be great, I'm sure. I thought something smelled good. That's exactly the kind of pub grub I had in mind. Can I have a closer look at it? 
Yeah. I, I love that the option is no. Turf and uh, turf and trough, you call it? Looks bleeding scrumptious. The lads are going to love it. I just hope it, it's a spot after an hard day's digging or dealing out the drinks in my dad's case. All that hard work must really take it out of him. Eh? You reckon it's nice of me to put everyone's health first? Don't get me wrong, Havak. This ain't just food, it's fuel. The more good grub they get down on them, the more metal they'll be able to mine. Anyway, thanks for helping me with the dish. If I start practicing the recipe right away, I'll be able to make it all by myself in no time. Food ain't just for filling an empty stomach, you know. It can have other benefits besides. So extend your palate, you might be surprised with what you find. Ooh, that's a very good point. Oil could be uh, useful. Very good point. I will add this. I need to go get another... Oh, really? Good job getting those miners on board, Avak. Now we can take a big step forward in the search for the more silver. You see, a single seam of silver won't be enough. Do you think you can find three more seams? I'm sure there must be more down there. All right, lads. You heard Magrog. Time to get to work. Avak will be waiting for you in the tunnels. Come and find us when you're ready. Uh, that'll be a little while. Uh, Avak, I heard you was going off in search of more silver, so I put together a little packed lunch for you. Here. Oh, thank you. I ain't quite perfected the recipe yet, but this was the only edible looking one I managed to make. Still, it'll help keep your strength up. I'm sorry, my dog. That's not fair. Since when have you been her favorite? Get out of my sight, Havoc. Find Dougie and lead the lads to, to find a few more veins of silver. Dougie said he'd be waiting for you down by the old lift. I'd recommend warping there if you can. <sighs> my lord. Right, another frying pan, I think. Let's see, where are we? There we are. Doink. Oh. Now, let's go and add this in. Uh, I'm going to want to... Well, that's food that I can't add to anything, so... Doink. Now, one, and... Is there anything else I can add? Yeah, I can add meat to this one. I do like that it shows only the possible... And combinations. Also, I need to eat. My superior stir fry. I approve. Let's pop this in it. Uh, what have I got that can go with that? Nothing. Mm. That's not exactly what I wanted to see. Okay. Um, well, I could already make that. Can I add any? Oh, I can. I guess this would be superior stir fry again, though. Let's have a look. No, it's something else. Okay, we got enemies. Enemies at the gates! What? It's as hard as bone! If your bones are that hard, my lord. Hello! Insta kill! Ouch. I did kind of hurt a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Thank goodness for those skeletons, because we would not have any uh, adobe if it weren't for them. Ooh, something looks delicious. We have got... Schnitzel. Uh, can I add this to anything? No. Can I add this with anything? No. How about this? Yes, but... Not something I want to add. All right. I'm not adding the meat back in there. I guess I'll pop those in there for now, though. There we go. Perfect. All right. Now then, we can set up a, a shower room for Babs. Alternatively... We can sort out my inventory for one thing. And start laying more of the uh, iron blocks. Which I really would like to do. Let's, let's get all of this done if we can. Okay. 
And if nothing else, we can just run this all the way across. There we go. Any idea how long Ava keeps me streams? Well, it does depend a little bit on what else I've got to do. Uh, if I'm running late for things and, and that sort of thing. But typically it'll be several hours. Like, you know, about five, six hours at least. Funny enough, they just added more cooking things in Guild Wars 2 today. Really, Leafin? I'm gonna have to let Lady Sheila know. Uh, right, we need one for the lamp. And I believe that one is there. Yes, it is. Perfect. Right. We also need. Three around here. I believe this is right. Yes. And the same over on this side. I'm not gonna. F mm, I mean, I could, but no. I think we'll wait until we got more silver bricks for the the rest of it. For now. Put that in there. Do I have the copper blocks? I do. Good. Right, okay. Let's let's have a look at uh that is not what I meant to do. Uh let's have a look at smashing this floor. Oh this is actually quite quite good. You know what? Why am I doing that? I mean sure, I'll I'll let it happen this once. Pow. But I really don't need to do that. I can use the trowel. Let's make the floor of this pool really nice. Havoc, if you jump while holding a charge deck, it will cancel it for you. Ah, okay. Yep. Right. So, trowel. There we go. Oh, drop down and blast. Why did I do that? Really? Don't really. The one time I remember to use you. You scamp on you. Oh well. At least it's not too hard to do. I think I would like to place that sand back there though. Let's just do the outline first, and then we can worry about the rest. What goes there? Have a ladder of some sort? Yeah, so we do actually need to go under those as well, so that's fine. We might actually make some sort of um, pattern in here, thinking about it. We don't have to do it all in copper. We could do some of it in silver, just to make like a little square pattern around the fountain area. Do they actually play? They are actually playing. Royal Jelly Flush. <laughs> well, look, you can't be a winner all the time. But don't let it get you down, Malroth, I'm sure you're fine. Uh, right, let's smash the ground around here. There we go. And kapow. I'm actually enjoying setting a little mosaic over here. I mean, we could think of all kinds of other um, blocks to place in there to give it a little bit more of a style to it, but 
For now, this is good enough, I think. That is a really good time saver, oh my lord. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm thinking exactly the same, Leafin. If this is the silver bar, how big is the gold bar going to be? Probably too big is the answer to that. Oh well. It'll be fun to build, I think. Actually, let's uh, build it in this direction. We can probably make some sort of nice pattern. Maybe even with a combination of silver, uh, iron, and copper tiles. That were uh, honestly making the floor of a pool out of copper. Not exactly the smartest move in the in the, uh, in the history of building bars, but oh well. All right, that's enough done. Right, next up, we want to build a. Shower room for Babs. And for everyone, let's be honest. So, maybe... Pop it somewhere over, over here, perhaps? But we're gonna want to make it out of silver blocks, which means we need more silver. Getting down into the mines to find some more silver veins is probably a good move, but I'll uh, just go ahead and clear out a space for it first. I'm thinking somewhere over here it would do nicely. Is there much appreciation around? Yeah, decent amount. Okay, right. Let's go and check on what we've got over here. Nothing, my lord. What about in here? There we go. Uh, actually, we'll wait until we've got more to, to play with. Let's head on down into the mine. And buy down into the mine. I mean, use the so, uh, fast travel. Yep. Seraphim, thank you very much for the resub. 13 months. The music in this area is so peppy. I've not made it this far, so mega spoilers to me. But oh well. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for watching anyway. Uh, Alright, build the shower room behind the silver bar. Uh, no, I think I'd, I'd like to build it in front. Right. Where are we headed off to? Hello. You down there by yourself? Ah, back. You sure took your bleeding time. I thought I told you not to leave me alone in the dark. Anyway. The way me uh, latter quivering tells me there's silver somewhere behind this wall. Have a quick bash about with the sledgehammer of yours and see what you find. Alright. Kapow! My goodness, I do a lot of damage with these things. There you go. Well, I never. It's another bleeding tunnel. You've done a stellar job knocking that old through. But it's a bit of a tight fit for all the silver we'll be uh, bringing back. I'll get the lads to open her up a bit. Oi, right, get in here, you pathetic plonkers. There's work to be done. Oi, oi. Yeah. Uh, hey, Sapphire Star. That's more like it. I never could stand tight places. All right, lads. Let's get on in there. Where's the hole? Oh wow, you really did make a gigantic hole, well done. Why are you not having them clear the holes? That's more uh we should head on in too, have I? If my triceps can be trusted, there's a bleeding shed load of silver in there. Alright. Hello. Ah oh. Uh there we go. Ah poop. No. I would like the stone. Thank you. Oh, so let's light this while we're here. Suppose that means I do need these on my hotbar.
Any we we missed? Uh, it might have been. Can't see them now though, so. But let's keep an eye out for them. Since it does seem to help. You scatty back. Nope. You're as bad a name as I am. My lord. There's the other torch just down there. Having these down here will mean that we're going to be safe from ghosts, so it's probably worth us doing. Oh, hello. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. I'm not even sure I want to... Hmm. Hello. Who goes there? I can't fodder anything in the mongery of these tunnels. Seriously, in all this darkness, I can't see a thing. Say, are you lost or something? We get nancy visitors down here, you know. Hardly any at all. Well, you're here now, so maybe you can do me a big fat favor. What do you say? Uh, yeah. Okay. Fantabulosa. What a bona young Omi you are. I haven't even told you what I want yet. Now then, my three little brothers have got lost in these mazy tunnels. The dizzy chickens. Could you shaper them out? They just love to oogle zushi things, so chances are you'll find them near a sparkly seam. I hope that helps in your search. They're only feelies, too young and tender to look after themselves. Please find all three. If you're having a hard time far dying which way you're going, try lighting some of the torches that have gone out. Not only will you be able to see more, clearly, it'll help to mark where you've already been too. Lost little lambies get gumbled up down here, darling. Oh my god. I hope we don't have to talk to this character very much. I will slowly drive myself in, sir. Three new destinations have been added to your map. Uh, but I've got to say, you've got, I've got a pretty swanky little place here. I'm not going to lie. Pretty swanky. Now, if it was a mimic, it would have already been trying to eat out. Yeah, I'm, 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 even if it was a mimic, if it's a friendly mimic, I don't mind. Look, mimics have to eat too. And there are intelligent mimics, you know. It's just they're not the common ones. Or, or maybe they are. I can't remember. There's the killer mimics, and then there's the, the, the common mimic. Uh, oh, we, no, this is a bad time. I can't breathe. <sighs> Listen here, lads. The light's fading fast, so we better get cracking with today's accumulation declaration before Avak drowns. Yeah, the smart one is the common one, and the other one is the killer mimic. Um, the smart one can even talk. And you can bargain with it. I mean, you've got to provide it food. Uh, that's basically the way it goes. You know, it basically wants nom. But if you being alive means it gets more nom, it's not dumb. You know, it, it's, kind of, it's, it's kind of the whole case of, look, you could eat me and you get one meal. Or you could let me go and I'll lead a party of adventurers down here and you can eat them. You see? You see? We both we both win in this. I don't die, and you get get to eat a lot. Because a mimic, despite what most um like, like what you'll typically see in in games, mimics are gigantic. Mimics are absolutely huge in in you know actual D D. They are titanic creatures. They're, they're not like the, the the size of a dumpy little chest. No, they they're gigantic. And very, very dense. You don't want to mess with the mimic, so if one gives you a bargain, you probably want to take it. Yeah, Avic, waxing poetic about mimics while drowning in game. Yeah, yeah, more or less. Um, we dug, dug up a shed load of metal today. Well in, lads. All right, time to crack on with the accumulation declaration. I've set aside Avic's share already, which he'll, will be awarded to him posthumously, because he's dead now. Which comes out to 102 lumps of coal, 37 chunks of iron, 29 chunks of copper, and 13 chunks of silver. And that's all. Here's your share, Goldie Rocks. 157 lumps. 
Thank you. Me needs 2,752 more lumps of silver. Then me become silver golem. Alright, watch the video what they don't tell you about mimics on YouTube. Okay, I'll have, you'll have to remind me to watch that later, but I will definitely check it out. And thank you so much to Lord Falada for the resub there. And to CK Hawk, thank you so much for the tip. Here's to making a really swanky large bath. I approve. Might I suggest adding a non-functioning sunken 4x4 hole with water in it to make it appear more like a Japanese style bath. Ah, sure. I can definitely try that. All right, that's the declaration done for today. Good work, lads. Treat yourselves to a jigger or two. We got another big day of digging tomorrow. I'm alive! I can... I got gills! Ha 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 ha! Who knew? I didn't until just now. But I have gills, apparently. Um... Well, we're going this way. Come along. Go light some torches. Bonk. But yes, mimics are gigantic creatures. They really aren't giving nearly enough credit in almost any game where they appear in. Even some games masters don't quite realize how big mimics are because it's so pervasive, this, this idea that they're actually tiny little creatures. The size of your common or garden chest. No, 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 no. They are vast. I forget the lore behind... Uh, I think it was a wizard who made them or something like that. Um, it's been so long since I, I, I've read the monster man. But uh, I'm fairly certain the mimics all came from one source. Someone made mimics. And, and then, you know, they eventually just kept, I know, procreating or something. I, I can't even remember how mimics procreate, but uh, nevertheless, they really aren't, uh, aren't portrayed accurately in most games, which is a shame. No more torches around here. Much sadness. Hmm, the sand is falling down from above. Huh. Okay. I uh, may need to sort that out. More sand falling down from above there. Water behind here somewhere. Avak fell in water and can't get out. Avak used protagonist powers. Yeah. I am immortal. Uh, get me out of here! Uh, well, I could, or I could light the lights first. I mean, I totally could get you out, but... And I won't even blow you up either. I'll be I'll be kind. Thunk. My old GM actually had me go into a house that was actually a colossal mimic with small mimics inside it, and then chased me up a mine shaft that was just big enough for it to climb up. Because if a DM described a mimic posing as a treasure chest, a pro to proper scale, no one would try to open it. It's like huge, enormous chest. That is a chest of the gods. It's more than likely not openable or extremely dangerous. Let's take a moment. <laughs> that is a fair point. Actually, yeah, no, I'll, I'll give you that. If most DMs accurately describe the mimic to proportion, there's no way anyone would be like, yeah, okay, that that that's 100% a legit chest. No way that that is a giant hungry monster that just wants to eat me. Donk! Oh my lord! Here we are. One gigantic scene. Don't mind me. I will talk to you in a moment. There we go. Hello. Whoopee! The sand and salt's gone! I'm saved! One minute I was staring up at that shiny stuff and the next thing I knew, the ceiling caved in. I thought I was a goner. Oh, your horses? Did someone say shiny? Oi, oi! If I'm not mistaken, that's silver. Get over here, you nitless uh, witnits. Uh, witless nitwits, I think you mean. We found ourselves another seam. Dark Souls mimics were genuinely terrifying. I actually really approve of Dark Souls mimics. Even though they're not to proportion, but Dark Souls isn't trying to be D&D. So, you know, it doesn't need to follow D&D rules, but their mimics are genuinely... Uh. Well then, Avak, we're making proper good progress with finding these seams of silver. Now I've just got to go and find the monster's brothers. Off we go. Yeah, because a mimic, it doesn't need to be a chest. 
Uh, it, it, could, it could be a table if it wants to be. The idea of it being a chest is, is, I don't know where that came from, that it could only be one. Because definitely, it can be any kind of furniture it wants to be. It's just, you know, chests, you know, you know we the adventurers, etc, etc. But it can, it could be anything. A bookcase is completely legit. A giant ornate table, also super legit. In fact, that's probably the better way of hiding a mimic. It's like, yeah, it's a table. Hello. Silvery sludge. Uh, okay. The luggage is a sapien pear wood, not a mimic. Oh, luggage. Luggage is very different. Luggage is not a mimic. Agreed. How dare you even suggest such a thing, whoever did. Root. Hello. Please no. Ow. Does kind of hurt. There we go. Dealt with. Poop sword to the rescue. No, thanks. A, a, a grand piano? Yeah, no. That is genuinely a really good idea. I may steal that. I will try to remember to give you credit for that one, Red Hoodie. Should I ever use it? Because that is genuinely an amazing idea. A mimic grand piano. That is fantastic. That's about the right size. And it would just like, you know, just like, nosh you down. You, you go, it sounds a little bit out of tune. In fact, it's, it's basically just making the sounds as you're tapping on the keys. And then you uh, go to look inside. Oh, that hurt. That was a terrible combination. Made to sleep and then massacred by ghost. My goodness. But yeah, th no, that, was, that, was gen that was a genuinely amazing idea. Oh yeah, quick up, stop playing around. Well, I mean, I, was, I wasn't playing around. I, I was dead. How dare you? What is this? Silver sludge. Uh, we will jump back down there. Uh, we haven't got too far to go. That's fine. Hey, that was not a derp, Sapphire Star. That was, that was legitimately good good uh, teamwork on the on the monster side. Saying it was my derp is is not giving the monsters proper credit for that awesome combination. Put me to sleep whilst an extremely hard-hitting monster is nearby so that I can't dodge. Because the ghosts are easy to dodge, but while I'm asleep, much, much harder. To be fair, that was an amazing, amazing attack. Uh, actually, maybe keep this out. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, let's gobble this down. Yum. Uh, Avak, that was a wall at the end of the table, uh, to the right of the silver vein. You could use a bomb on. Uh, that's a very good point, actually. There was. Uh, I'll consider doing that. Right. Right. Please. Fine. Uh, let's grab just some random old bit of uh, whatever. There we go. Perfect. Anything else around that I can light? Now yeah, there's loads of sconces in here actually. Why wasn't I lighting these? I'm not going to light all of them, I'll be honest. But I'll light a few. Or maybe one or two. Uh, either way, we want to be on our way. So let's head on down. I'll light this one as well, I think. It's not for me to be able to find my way. I'm lighting these so that, should I need to, I can go stand next to one and be immune to ghosts. Steal the new door. Look. Oh wow, did Malroth uh, Mal do zero damage to that slime? Oh wait, 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 didn't someone say that one of the, the great things about the, the poop sword is that it can do a guaranteed one damage against metal slimes? So I, I take it those are metal slimes then. We'll test that out a little bit more. See if uh, Malroth ends up not doing any damage again. No, oh, thank you. Ow. I said no, thank you. How rude. 
Once again. So rude. You little scoundrel, you. That's what you get. Insta death. Yeah, mimics only do shades of brown. I think they can do grey, can't they? Because grey is their actual skin tone. And they do... They can create the woody texture. Um, I think I think that's literally it. The, the, the wood grain is, is something that they do by... I'm not entirely... I can't remember now. So again, it's been a long time since I read through the Monster Manor. But uh, it, it's... That is their skin. They're not just making themselves look... Um, like something else. Uh, they, they, can't, they haven't got like perfect, perfect mimicry, mimicry of textures and things like that. They, they can just do that one texture. Oh yes, you are right. There, there was this down there. I completely forgot about it. Dunk. There we go. Hello. Malrath can deal with you, hopefully. Or not. Sorry, Malrath. Alright. Over here, then. Hello. Insta-kill. Fantastic. What did we just get? We got a... Seed of Life. Get what this is. Scrum to see that grants of great vigor raises max HP by five. Sure. Okay. Yonk. In before, there's actually a super rare recipe that you can get by uh, eating one uh, by cooking one of those. Is that a metal scorpion? Oh wow! My uh, instance of getting the insta kills is crazy high right now. That was a metal scorpion. Oh my goodness. It's like the game is making up for killing me. I approve game. All is forgiven. I have tried to break the bathroom in the original village and um, Kito, but it didn't give any uh, recipes, I'm afraid. Let's continue on through here, though. No worries, you weren't here to see it. There's no way you could have known. There we go. Well. Yes, but no. Yes, but once I've lit all of this up. Thanks. Ouch. Let's see if I can't take you on myself. I love how Dougie's like, attack! And then scarpers. There we go. Getting fairly close to level 17 right now, which is quite nice, I must confess. What would happen if... Massive mushroom stems, okay. Dark dolomite. Nope. Ouch! Ouch! Yep. Can you please stop putting my friends to sleep? My lord. 
Alright, got another location over here. No. Ah, uh, damn it. Did it, did it get you as well? Damn it. On the plus side, it doesn't seem to attack when we're put to sleep, so. Seems to only be dangerous in combination with another enemy. Nope. Okay, well, we've gone a little bit further away from where I was originally. I assume that there might be a, a quick way back to that. But it looks like we're just moving further and further away from that large boss mob. So we're going to head back and fight it. What? Oh, I thought it might be something like that. No. No, thanks. Ow. It actually still hurts me if I'm touching it. The plus side, lots of stuff. I do still need a lot of stuff. And what looks like a metal scorpion over there. Get away. Ah, oh, damn it. That was too swift. No, thank you. Where was it now? I am actually lost. A little bit vexing, but alright. Maybe I should have gone in and investigated it when I had the chance. Okay, let's uh, keep going back. See if we can't find that uh, creature somewhere. It was around here, I was sure of it. And no, that was the room. Ah, here we are. There we go. I was right. Okay, then. Oh. Let me go in the sedan over here for a second. The, that grin, though. Oh, my God. That is nightmare fuel. Absolute nightmare fuel. I'm going to grab a chocolate. I would share with chat. Alas, you're all too far away. That is, that is, that is some really creepy stare that they're giving us right now. Okay. Hello. Rather not. Ow! It hurts. It hurts so much. <laughs> I will never get tired of that. I will never ever get tired of that. Oh my goodness, this is so powerful. A rugged cudgel, ward of reinforced wood. The nightclub. That's like the second time that we've taken out a particularly tough looking mob with the poop sword. Do anyone know? Hmm. It feels as though that is going somewhere. I wonder. Okay, I'm going to potentially ruin this area, but... Okay, no. Doesn't really go anywhere. Fair enough, then. Okay, on our way, then. Yeah, it looks like it's just a boss room. Not that the boss was particularly, uh... capable, I'll be honest. Nope. Out. You know, if uh, Malroth is going to throw you into me, I guess you're going to get ahead. 
Oh, I already have that recipe, CK Hawk. Listen here, lads, the light's fading fast, so we'd better get cracking with today's accumulation declaration. It's taken an inordinate uh, length of time to uh, load that up there. We dug up a shed load of metal today. Well in, lads. And we get... ...23 chunks of silver. Nice. <coughs> Excuse me. I may need to go and get myself a drink in a moment. And 601 to Goldilocks. Wow, okay, that's pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. And Zangiri, yeah, the club is better than what Malroth had, but I've got a recipe, not the club itself, so I need to go back and build it. All right, that's the declaration done for today. Good work, lads. Treat yourselves to a jigger or two. We got another day, big day to begin tomorrow. I have a kettle drink. I've heard dying is not healthy. I mean, funnily enough, I also have heard this. Okay, no, not interested today. Which way? Both of them are in that direction, but I could go this way because this is not the way I'm meant to go. Ha 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 ha! And everyone knows the way you're meant to go is the boringest way. You gotta go the way you're not meant to go. I can hear something sparkly. Where is the spark? I'm I, I'm certain I can hear something sparkly. Is it the fella down here? Oh no. Hello. Before we talk to you, let's just deal with this. Leave me alone! I actually feel a little bit bad about killing you because you actually don't attack, you just stun people. So it's more of a self-defense mechanism than anything else. Hooray! Level up! Yeah, moot das boot. I am having a fantastic evening. How about yourself? Okay, that was just some extra HP, but ooh, look at this place. Oh, these mushrooms. Hello. What's this? Visitors? Humans, is it? If you don't mind us asking, who are you and what are you doing here? You say you're a builder? Looking for silver, is it? We've heard of people like you, but not for a long, long time. What's an old bag like you doing all the way down here? And what's wrong with your voice? Oh, we're sorry. We should explain. We've been down here so long. Spended many years alone. We can't remember when we last used our voice. But don't you worry about us, dear. Maybe tell us your... Uh, maybe we tell you our story later. Maybe not. At the moment, we're more concerned about all that commotion up there. Hmm. We'd go and look ourselves, but some of the mushrooms here are missing their caps, and that seems to be the only way up. Well, I mean, you know, we could salmon up that waterfall. If you really are a builder, perhaps you could put the supermassive mushroom caps back on the stalks and rebuild the path. Kurt calls it stepping shrooms. Really? 